Hello everyone and welcome back to Clover Knows Pets. I'm Clover and today I'm redoing my Egyptian Spiny Mouse's enclosure. Now I have two who are currently in the bin behind me, just temporarily of course, while I redo their 40 gallon setup. Now I originally actually had it set up, or well not originally, but most recently I had it set up more of a desert theme. Um, yeah, I had cork logs in there and a wheel. And, of course, other supplies and stuff, but for the most part, it was just sand. And in this corner, of course, I did have to bury them somewhere to bury. Just filled this box here. But, yeah. But today I was figuring out, I'd do some research on them. And just look in a little more onto their natural environment. And I found out that they very, very rarely go around sand. And, therefore, I, of course, went straight to redoing the setup because my goal here is to try and find a steady stable way to set them up and care for them that I can hopefully make a care guide about because there is currently nothing talking about proper care out there. The only thing I could find is a single article that I had to translate from German. So yeah. Um, the U.S. and other countries in general, actually, are really in need of some sort of stable, steady place for research, as these guys are currently being kept in some pretty absurd ways. And I'm going to try and stop that, or at least do my part in stopping it. First thing I'm trying is a more earthy-like substrate. I've currently got EcoWorth here, which I'm going to mix in with the sand. I might have to expand another brick, I don't know. I was checking the humidities in the humidity range in some of the areas they live in in the wild, and it seemed like it was mostly between 45 and 65 percent humidity, so obviously not overly high. Yeah. Now that I've added it in, I'm just going to mix this up. I really hope I don't regret this because I'm wasting quite a bit of substrate if I end up regretting it. So yeah, let's hope not. I'm also going to try and keep this area a little um, shallower in the end because I do have a heat pad there since it does get pretty cold in the winter um, in Minnesota, which is where I am. Um, even with the room being heated, of course, it is still pretty chilly, so I do have something in case they get too cold. Yeah, all right, I'm looking, I'm liking the look of this a lot more. Um, just looks nicer to me. For some reason, the camera's doing something weird, and you can't exactly see what it looks like. Um, at least not the color, but it's really nice to me. Um, and it looks, or at least seems to look like what I'd imagine it would look like more in the wild. And you can make burrows and holes, and it doesn't break overly easily. So, yeah. Nicer substrate. And since it's mainly sand, I don't think it should raise humidity too much, especially since there is a wire lid on here. Um, but like I said before, shouldn't be a worry. Um, but yeah. Alright, I was checking out all of the supplies I have on the ground. Um, but yeah, I've got in the box here. Now obviously an Amazon box doesn't look great. And honestly, I don't really want to have to pay a bunch of money for something acrylic or glass. So that's what I'm using, and I will be covering up the front at least so that it looks a little better, but yeah. I'm using this piece of maple wood here. Just sits in front. Did this last time and it worked fine. Now obviously, even with a bit of substrate there, it will not just stand up. It'll fall. So I have this piece right here that secures it. There we go. And it's also the primary way that they get up. Also, I'm going to switch this around so this is on the other side, but yeah. There we go. But yeah, it's also the primary way that they get up here, because they can't just hop um, from there to there very easily, but they can from here to here. Alright, now I'm going to rearrange the substrate, and I will show you that. Alright, here we go. Got it all in, and I think this looks a lot better than what I've done in the past. Probably because I'm used to working with substrate like this, and more moist substrates, but I'm not used to working with paper bedding or haze. Well, I am, but not as much. So yeah, as you can see here, it does go up into a slope in the back here. Um, and so this area is substantially deeper. Um, so yeah, should be nice for them. It's hard to show, um, but also the substrate is pretty decent. Like it's not just falling apart with me doing this. So yeah. 
Also seeing that I had a finer sand in here along with the natural play sand, um, I'm assuming that it might harden a little more, which should be nice. But of course I'm stupid and forgot to add a flat paste for the wheel, so fix that right here. Alright, here we go. I have it all set up. So I've got water here, heat pad there, and the big cork piece, cork log, um, for hiding. I've got the um, jump up piece, I've got the wheel, and then I gave them a ton of different climbing things. I left these on empty, or sorry, empty, so that they could fill them up on their own. Bunch of hiding. I st stuck a burrow starter in there along with a piece of slate. Back here I'm going to fill this with uh, tissue paper which is currently in the carrier they're in so yeah. And then of course I've still got the uh, area over here. Hard to do this one-handed um, but yeah with a hide and such. Just some things and then of course the actual burrowing box itself. And then I've got Two hammocks up here, just like before, that can be accessed from up there. Here they are, I'm gonna set them in. Hey babies. Here you go baby. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Close it up. What do you think you guys? Very hard to show them on camera. Yeah, thanks for the job.